So now, let's see how we can actually fix this. So for that, I need to introduce something called logistic regression, which is actually a special case of something that we've already done before when we looked at multi-class. So remember multi-class classification. So this is a slide from like two weeks ago um, where we basically said, well, we want to have, you know, calibrated probabilities. So, you know, you sum over all the classes, OY, E to the OY, sum over E to the OI. And that quantity, the softmax, you know, is a proper probability distribution, sums up to one, everything's well behaved. And the negative log likelihood then would be something like, uh, looks like the type of persisted, uh, sum over the E to the OI. E to the OI uh, minus OY, right? So that's nice. Now what if we only have two classes? Well, actually, if we only have two classes, um, as you, I guess, discovered, um, you have shift invariance. So you can add a constant to all the outputs, and I get the same probabilities. Okay, so let's say I have classes one and minus one. So P of Y equals one given O is E to the O one divided by E to the minus O minus one and E to the O one. Now I could just add a constant to O one and O minus one. And so I get the same expression as before, but just now with the C's added and obviously I can pull those C's out again by just dividing by all of that, they get the original expression. In other words, I have shift invariance under additions. Okay, now this is good if I have that because I can actually go and maybe simplify things. So what I could do is I could set O minus one to be zero. Why would I do that? Well, why not, right? So I get of P of Y equals one given O, E to the O one divided by E to the zero, so that's one, plus E to the O. Now I go and divide by E to the O and I get one over one plus e to the minus o. That's the logistic. Now, the last thing that you may want to do is work out what p of y equals minus one is. Okay, let's actually do this explicitly on the whiteboard. So p of y equals minus one given o, that's one minus one over one plus e to the minus o right, which is one plus e to the minus o, and here I have e to the minus o, right, because I have one plus e to the minus o minus one, so that's what I get, okay? In which case, I can kill this, right, so I divide by this, so I get one here, and I get e to the e to the O here, so in other words, I get this. Okay. Which is now something that I can simplify. P of Y given O is one over one plus e to the minus Y O. Which is exactly what we had here. Um, and that's just a very convenient simplification because now I don't need an if then else um, condition when I evaluate the loss, but I can just take care of that with a simple multiplication. Okay. And here's the logistic loss function. So the blue function is the logistic loss. That's minus log P of Y given X. The orange function is the conditional class probability. No, sorry, it's not, it's, uh, it's actually the slope, sorry. But it also so happens to be the conditional class probability, but we'll not delve into that. The interesting thing is, so this orange curve is computed by using gluon. I didn't actually take the derivative, I just ran autograd because I'm lazy and it's just so much easier to have one line of code rather than using my brain. Um, now, the last thing that we probably want is get the asymptotes. 
And so if I have the asymptote for x going to infinity, um, this should look extremely familiar from past homework. Um, so I get, you know, of course, you know, x going to infinity, e to the minus x goes to zero, so I get log of one, which is zero. So that just proves that the asymptote for x going to infinity is the constant function zero. And for x going to minus infinity, I'm going to subtract the function minus x from it, so I get log of one plus e to the minus x plus x. Pulling that into the exponential gives me the log of one plus e to the x. Now again, for x going to minus infinity, the second term vanishes, so I get zero again. So with that, I've just proven that this green function gives me the asymptotes for both plus and minus infinity appropriately. Okay. And yet yeah, the orange function is the slope. Any questions so far? Okay. So to just quickly wrap this up, and don't worry, we'll actually need this quite a bit in what follows, namely when we look at covariative correction. Um, so I have some data, and conveniently people pick classes one and minus one. I have some objective which is log of, you know, one plus e to the minus this term. And actually I screwed up here. There needs to be a minus there. Um, let me just quickly fix this. And I might have some penalty on the parameters. And the conditional probability is just 1 over 1 plus e to the minus o, which just so happens to also give me the derivative. This is not a coincidence and has a lot to do with how exponential families work. Um, if you like that, take a stats class on exponential families. There's a lot of really beautiful math that simplifies a lot of things if you just realize that they all follow the same mathematical underpinnings. Okay. <laughs>